That's a hard-working crew. We appreciate all you do in there. Hey, if you grew up in northwest Ohio or southeastern Michigan in the 1950s and 60s, you probably remember our next guest. He began performing on stage at Toledo's Paramount Theater at age six. He became a well-known TV entertainer and a comedian. And after years of performing and entertaining audiences everywhere, Johnny Ginger is returning to his roots right here in the Glass City. Johnny Ginger joining us now to talk about his career. Johnny, I don't mean to interrupt you there, but oh, I know I was, you're reading about yourself, oh, yeah, right? Yeah, I was looking at this. Isn't that wonderful? It's cool, isn't it? Dan, good morning. Hey, good morning. Thanks so much for coming back to town, your hometown, right? My hometown, yeah. yeah. Grew up here and started, at the, as you said, at the Paramount Theater with my mom and dad and my brother. And back at the uh, Ohio Theater, I, I was there about eight years ago when yeah. they still had the big marquee up. Uh, Which on blew the top. down years ago, yeah. right? A yeah. couple years ago. But you can still find it. It's there. That's right. Yeah. Around LaGrange Street, right? Right, right. I used to go there when I was a kid. Did it's, you really? Yeah, it's still there. One of, the, I think, the last theaters that we have in, in Toledo. There yeah. used to be like about 13 of them downtown. And they were incredible. The Paramount Theater, where oh. you started. I mean, what a glorious building. And of course, what, in the... What, 60s? Is Six, when they, mid 60s, I think, is 60 when they something. It down? Yeah, when they demolished it to put in a parking lot. Mm. Like, we need more parking lots down here. Isn't that terrible? You were oh. there, you said, right? Didn't yeah, you? Danny Thomas, uh, Teresa Brewer, myself got up a petition to, you know, don't do this. Sure. It went. Mm. Now there's beautiful asphalt over there. Yes, isn't that marvelous? Love oh, it. my, what a beautiful theater. Mo Howard, that, that I worked with at the time when I was six, remembered that theater when I was on the set with the Outlaws is coming really? and I said uh, I worked with you when I was six he said the Paramount with three balconies and the mm -hmm. opera sides and the orchestra come out but he said that's a beautiful theater I said it was he said what I said they tore it down he said I'll miter them yep Mo. One, of, one of the shames yeah one of the shames oh. how, how does a, how's a kid from Toledo get involved in show business with my mom and dad and my brother. Yeah. They put me on stage at six years old. I have no say-so about it. They just dragged me off of the, yeah. the side and threw me on. And I heard that applause and the laughter. And I said, this is wonderful. <laughs> this is for me, right? So I've, I've kept doing it uh, all my life. And uh, I, I love it. It's, you get paid for doing what you enjoy. That's got to be like yourself. You know, you get paid these big bucks. That's right. <laughs> High dollars. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, my show consists of uh, impressions. Uh, I don't do just standard impressions. I do uh, Paul Lynn doing the Beatles, uh, Catherine Hepburn doing uh, Elvis. There you are right there. Here's a little look at what you're Oh, that's, there. yeah, that's me on stage at the Burton Manor in Livonia for about 500 screaming ladies. All right. My kind of crowd. Throwing their undergarments at you, I'm sure. Uh, depends. Ah. <laughs> they were an older group. I see, I see. <laughs> I remember when they used to throw the, yeah, never mind, never mind. <laughs> but tonight, the show, 8 o'clock, and uh, we're expecting a great crowd. Uh, my sons, three of my sons, I have six children, five sons and one daughter, and three of my boys are going to open for me. No kidding. Yeah, they're doing a Beatles uh, tribute, Rocky, okay. Sean, and Jerry, and they do guitar and sing, and they're, they're great. Not just because they're my kids, but they are good. It's a talented family. Oh, yeah. Hey, real quick, we were talking off camera. You're good friends with legendary Tigers broadcaster Ernie Harwell. Yes. He called me one time and asked me for lunch, and I said, I can get there in 45 minutes. He said, if you're not here in a half an hour, I'm going to be long gone. His I said, Ernie call. Harwell said it. The famous home to run me. call. Yeah. He's a marvelous, wonderful man. Yeah. Uh, don't swear around him because mm -hmm. he gets very offended by it. You can't even say darn or he'll get upset. But a great man. Great man. You know him, you know, of course, the Three Stooges. You were in all sorts of... Uh, uh, well, Sammy Davis, I was on the Johnny Carson show. Uh, I was with... Uh, not I, to name drop, right? Yes. <laughs> uh, yes, as a matter of fact, Robert Mitchum was just telling me that the other day. <laughs> Don't name drop. <laughs> He's dead. Why did I say that? <laughs> and I was on Carson show, The Tonight Show. I worked with Walter Brennan on The Real McCoys. Uh, I, I finished a movie about three years ago. Uh, in Detroit, it's an independent thing called Kane's Children. I play a murderer for the first time, and uh, I had to audition for it, do a screen test, because they said, you're a comic, you know, can you pull this off? I had to do the screen test, and I got it, and uh, it should be out in hopefully three, four months. They we're still doing some looping on it for some lost dialogue. Uh, first time playing a murderer. Really? I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> Interesting. Well, hey, we appreciate you being here tonight, uh, today, and, of course, tonight's the big show. Eight o'clock. over there. 8 o'clock for a show. I do two completely different shows, 8 o'clock. And like I said, my <coughs> sons are opening for me, Rocky, Sean, and Jerry. Okay. We see the information right there on the screen tonight over at the Ohio Theater, which is on LaGrange Street. 
8 p.m. Tickets to air for <coughs> orchestra seating, 15 bucks. Stadium seating, 10 bucks. Call that number on your screen for more information. And for Johnny Ginger, that's a bargain, isn't it? 15 bucks or 10 bucks? You kidding me? Oh yeah, and I think already the uh, orchestra front rows, I think, are already sold out. Okay. Uh, so the, the, the whole place is gorgeous viewing. You can see from anywhere. All right. So I hope that you folks show up tonight at 8 o'clock because I need the money. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be back. Dan, Johnny's thank you. funny and he's honest, Johnny. Thank you so much. Thank you Appreciate very much. it. Look forward to your performance tonight. And coming up, Scott has your complete weekend future cast. It's 39 degrees on your Saturday.